Good morning, YouTube land. Uh, it is Saturday, June 1st. Oh, let's see, it is 7, 19. I'm getting ready to head to work here in a bit. But I wanted to stop out for an update quick, and here's why. Unfortunately, I lost a pretty healthy amount of videos. Well, they might not be lost, but anyway, here's my, my normal process. Usually come out here, shoot videos, blah, blah, all that good fun stuff. We'll save up, you know, I'll have a couple videos worth, then I'll go back in the house, I'll put them onto the computer, edit them, you know, squeeze the pieces together, all that fun stuff. And then I upload them so you guys can see it. Well, we had did that with the California Lumina that is getting run tomorrow. Unfortunately, I took those videos into the house, uploaded them onto the computer. As soon as I do that, I always delete them off of my memory card so that I don't have a bunch of uh, old stuff piling up with the new stuff. And my computer crashed. Um, I have had the same computer for nine years, and the thing has been flawless. A good friend of mine built it, actually. Um, and we've never had any issues with it, but uh, I can't get it to even to start. So um, I am not near techy enough to figure out what's wrong with it. It may very well get fixed, and I may very well end up being able to get those files off of it. But uh, fortunately, everything else, I always back up all of my videos. So all of the other videos that we've ever put up up to like the end of last week are all on my external hard drive, so I didn't really lose much, um, but unfortunately I don't have access to my editing software. Um, I'm going to put this video up as soon as I get to work today, so you guys will be seeing it here in just a couple hours. I start work at 9 today. Um, but I figured since I lost all that before I go to work, I'd come out here and give you guys just a quick rundown on, I guess, everything that we did so far on the California Lumina, because... Well, I lost all the updates that we had along the way. So, here she is, guys. She's very close to ready. Um, Adam will probably be here fairly shortly. He's going to work on it a little bit while I'm at work. And then him and I are going to finish it up the rest of the day. I work until 1 o'clock on Saturdays. So, we'll come and finish things up. Um, bumper's going to go on it here soon. we got to cut the tubing down. We've got some stuff in the collection. Just need to figure out what part we're going to use. Uh, we'll cut the tubing, put that inside, threaded rod will come up through, but um, wiring's all moved. I know we've gone through this before, but really guys, the wiring on this is very easy to remove. Pop the two hood, or the two motor mounts, put them up in the air. You have to undo both radiator hoses and unplug the fans. And you're going to loop your tranny anyway, so do that, which I have done. And then there's some plastic clips here, and then they run along, pop all those clips, and then that's where it goes into the firewall. The computer usually sits right here, along with another fuse box. All of that is now up there. Then it comes all the way over to here. You get a pretty decent amount of space. I did just notice this is kind of leaning towards the... Eh, we might be alright. I might try to throw another zip tie or something in there to just make sure that that stays away from the the pulley. You don't want the that's the only real concern after if you run the wiring in this way is you don't want the pulley to get to the wiring harness. So those will still need to be secured, but they're in. Window chains are in. One door is welded shut. Here, I'll show you some welding so you guys can give me some shit. I welded this one. Probably let Adam do the rest. I don't know. I think it'll be all right. You can't judge on this side because this is where I cut it with the torch. But I think she'll hold. Uh, let's see. Obviously, we put a cage in. So we've got two fresh door bars. One there. And the one over there. And then the seat bar. I managed to find one that was sitting back here. That made me happy. That was one thing I didn't have to really cut. We just trimmed one side and she fit in there pretty well. Tank is in. Pump sitting right next to it. The 
pump runs to the toggle switch that I should probably do something else with. I probably shouldn't just leave it floating down there. I'm sure that would drive Adam nuts. Um, we already notched the trunk, or the rear frame, I mean. Getting ready to tuck the trunk. We still have to do that. Um, she's up in the air right now because I took off the stock tank and an exhaust was my most recent endeavor. Um, really, there's not a ton left. Um, we got to pre-bend this back end. Right now, the bumper's still on it, and I'm still debating on that. Um, we don't get to run cars this clean very often. Um, my thought process right now is make sure we bend the trunk pan way up and then pre-bend the hell out of this, go way farther even than we normally would and try leaving a rear bumper on it. But I'm not a hundred percent sure on that yet. I really don't want a car this clean to go down because I feel like it's going to be a lot more work to correct if it does go down than you know a rusty crusty car that usually will pull back apart pretty easy and you can kind of fix it. But I mean, obviously it will be fixable if something does happen and it goes down, but it, this is a car that's clean enough to use the back end a little bit. I don't want it to, to end up underneath the car. Um, we'll put some donuts on the back. This show requires DOT tires, so these, these will be my spares, the two that are in the back right now. And then these ones will be on the front. Um, Hopefully they stick to that rule. Uh, just to be safe, I am going to bring some V-treads, so if other guys are there running those, we'll make sure to throw them on too. But the rules do say DOT tires only, which I don't like. Um, you know, Fans want to see hits, and it's really hard to get good hits if you've got flat tires. So, um, you know, the, the V-treads that I buy are 50 bucks a piece. So, I mean, I, I realize they don't want people spending a bunch of money on the on the build, but those tires last a hell of a lot longer than anything else that I put on. But their show, their rules, um, you know, the rule, the entire set of rules for this was like a paragraph and a half, maybe. I mean, it's uh, definitely left a lot of room for trying to figure out what the hell you're supposed to do. And they don't answer the phone over there, so uh, we're going to hope for the best. Got to secure the wiring, run the off-red. Um, the other we're allowed six spots to secure the hood total. The other four have to be either wire or chain, so we'll wire it up. I've got my iron wire hanging up over there. And uh, I do need to find a new home for where this main fuel line runs. I could probably put it just right there and secure it real good. You know, we'll move the fo hood forward a couple inches just to be safe, and obviously we always put the hose on here where it goes through there just to to try to make it a little bit more safe but no, I'm not sure if I like that being up on that ridge like that you know with the H body my hood moved a lot um, but with this one since we do get to run the all thread it shouldn't move near as much as that car did um, I say right now tomorrow I'm gonna drive this car backwards but y'all know me that probably won't happen so I do need to be concerned about the direction the hood goes so we'll figure something out with that um, I need to secure this guy in place point the camera that way dummy secure that guy in place um, other than that things are things are pretty good um, we will try let's see what am I gonna be able to do because I don't I don't have a computer so I won't be able to upload a derby day video tomorrow morning like I normally would we will still film it and I will put it up in order, but you guys are going to see everything on Monday. So the derby day, the pit walk, all the heats, and the aftermath, we will film it all tomorrow. And I will put everything but the aftermath up on Monday, and then you will see the um, aftermath likely on Tuesday, I'm thinking. That's my current plan. So... Sorry we lost a bunch of footage, but I hope I got you up to date uh, about the best I could on this. Um, as soon as I leave here, I'm going to send a message to Big Red, see if he's got time to come out and paint this thing um, here in the next tonight or tomorrow morning. And uh, we'll see y'all at Thorpe. Hope you're going to be there. Um, hoping for a decent turnout. There's three shows that day, so um, you know, there's uh, the 
Thorpe that we're going to. There's Aliva that Full Throttle is running that John Muse recently took over. Um, NLR. So hopefully he can turn that production around and uh, the Roberts Lions Club Good Neighbor Days. Um, so they're all kind of in a row. Thorpe, let's see. So Wassa was here. Thorpe's here. Aliva's here. And Roberts is here. So they're all kind of in a, a line across the state. Nothing down south today that I know of. So let's go wreck some stuff. I've already rambled long enough, but hopefully I kind of gave you an idea of everything that we got going on in here. She's getting close. We're I'm fairly comfortable in that we're going to be able to finish it. So appreciate you following along as always. Get goosed.